Hello, everyone, and welcome to another edition of Being Frank, where I discuss the latest trends. Wait, wait, wait a minute. I don't even talk like that. Hey, what's up, everybody? This is Frank Rivera, and I'm back with another episode of Being Frank, where I give you the real deal on trends in marketing, among other things. Today, we're going to be talking about social media use during the pandemic. How exactly are CMOs using social media? This will be good. Don't go anywhere. Be right back. Okay, so welcome back, everyone. Yes, today we are discussing CMO's use of social media during the pandemic. Now, it is no aha moment that internet use is like through the roof as well as social media use. But how exactly are you using social media in your space, whether you're a B2C or a B2B marketer? I'm going to share with you the results of a study um, where they spoke with CMOs and asked, okay, how are you so, uh, using social media and what are your main focuses? All right. So let's go to the first slide. We're going to be talking about the B2C segment first. Now, overwhelmingly, 84% are using social media for brand awareness and brand visibility, followed by a distant, I mean, distant Second, <laughs> customer retention followed by acquisition and then promotions. Okay, so it, it, uh, oh, here we go again. Okay, um, brand visibility and awareness should bring customer acquisition, right? It just, it, to me, I think it makes sense, all right? Um, <laughs> but we're going to have a couple thoughts at the end I want you to uh, actually think about. All right, so let's look at the B2B space. A little bit of a different story. So B2B CMOs, number one purpose for social media is acquiring new clients followed by client retention. Now, I'm in the B2B space. I've been in the B2B space for probably the last eight years, actually always in the B2B space. And I think this is a big, huge error and setback for those B2B companies. There's a reason why you look at uh, industries such as manufacturing and construction, and guess what? They are behind the eight ball when it comes to digital marketing, social media. I went to a servicing and finishing uh, conference or expo a few years ago, and they were handing out this award. I mean, everybody was like, rah, 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 whoa, way to go, bro. And and I was like, okay, wow, why did, why did they win this award? Well, guess what? They won the award because they were one of the only companies that actually improved their digital footprint, their website, their social media, SEO. And everyone's like, whoa, bro, that was really mind boggling. You did a great job. And I'm just like, but in the B2B space, I mean, B2C space, excuse me, that's like, yo, so yesterday. But, you know, it's really something new in the B2B space. And for some reason, they just haven't grasped how to utilize social media for brand visibility. Look, brand visibility, right messaging, right content, right frequency, okay, right content for your target market should acquire new clients. I think it's bass backwards, okay? Client retention, all right, I agree with that. So here's a couple of my thoughts. And look, I'm just being frank. I'm just being real with you. In my opinion, B2B sector is still treating social media like an afterthought. I get asked so many questions. Well, you know, if you're a B2B, how are you going to use Instagram? You know, if you're a B2B, you know, Facebook. Okay, yeah, they might not be hanging out on Facebook, but guess what? There is LinkedIn, and LinkedIn is exploding right now. All right? You need to figure that out. And if you don't know, guess what? Better ask somebody. I'm going to leave my information at the end. So, anyway, I think they are still treating social media as an afterthought. I've been in the B2B space, and social media has been great for my business because I figured out how to make it work for me. Number two, client retention processes are still missing. Okay, let's go back to the B2B, B2, B2C, <laughs> the B2C space, business to consumer space. 
All right, so he's going, hey, brand visibility, here I am. Hey, look, here I am, here I am. All right, yeah, we're going to come and visit you, but what happens then? Do you have a process in place that's actually capturing these prospects? Okay, everybody that comes into your social media funnel or entry point, all right, are you lead scoring them, all right, as they go through the entire customer journey? What are you doing? Because it's one thing to just say, yo, here's our brand. Look at us. What are you doing once they visit? How are you keeping them engaged? Okay. Now, I spoke I spoke with a, my cousin who was like way up there in, in the marketing, you know, like black marketer of the year. I mean, she's like, boom. And she said so many, especially in the B2B space, they are not working a CRM and do not have any type of lead scoring in space for prospects. And I would say that that is very true in the B2C segment as well. Okay, small biz treating number three like number one. Now, by this I mean, when they, when number three for the business to consumer segment was client acquisition. However, they're going about client acquisition incorrectly so in a lot of b2b to c from what i see brand visibility and brand awareness is sort of like let's just push my let's just push marketing push it out there we got a sale We're open this is what we do this is what we do this is what we do with out with very little regard for what the target market is actually interested in you know why because they don't care or they think they know and what's the best way to find out if something that you do not know you ask somebody so ask your target market yo what is it you're actually interested in you know i think that allows you to be proactive rather than reactive in the marketplace so what they're doing is they're saying you know what we're gonna have brand visibility but we're actually treating it like client acquisition and we're, we're, we're being transactional in nature in our approach, okay? So that's what I mean. I think that is like, that's backwards, okay? So look, I'm just being frank. I'm just being real. So a few things to think about. You know, do you have a client retention process or a client acquisition process, a nurturing process in place? Because if you're just putting social media out there and people are visiting and they're leaving, okay, how are you keeping your interest? Content, content, content? Or is there a better way to, to do that? Okay. And I think the B2B needs to switch their, their approach around and look at brand visibility as being number one, which if done correctly can lead to a greater customer and client acquisition. Okay. So anyway, if you have any thoughts, please feel free to reach out to me. There's my info right there. Or send me an email. And remember, indecision is a decision. Thanks for watching.